dear students welcome back although in the previous week we were doing uh, linear uh, equations but uh, your that topic that linear equation will be completed in the next week for this week i am going to start a new topic called real numbers so this is the first lecture on real numbers so i am going to explain you what are real numbers and the theorems and uh, other things related to real numbers so first of all if i have to write few examples of real numbers definitely 2 is a real number minus 5 is also a real number 3 upon 7 is a real number under root 5 is also a real number so you can see positive numbers negative numbers fractional numbers irrational numbers all are real numbers say 2.73 this is also real so these numbers they are all real numbers okay all the uh, rational numbers the rational numbers or positive negative fractional decimal all numbers are real numbers now what are the numbers which are not real so the numbers which are not real are called the imaginary numbers imaginary numbers now what are imaginary numbers now you know suppose x is equal to minus 3 then if you write x square it will be minus 3 square which is equal to 9 you know that that means square of any number whether it is positive or negative the square of that number will always be positive now if i write Square root of minus seven. Now you see, if square root of minus seven is x, and you square on both sides, then x square is equal to minus seven. But I am saying that square of any number is positive; it cannot be negative. And here x square is equal to minus seven. That means x will not have any real value. So these numbers are called imaginary numbers. So always remember. square root of a negative number is considered to be an imaginary number root of minus 7 or any uh, negative number square root of any negative number they are called imaginary number but we will uh, we will study about these imaginary numbers uh, later right now i'll tell you uh, something about its division lemma euclid's division lemma now first of all what is a lemma so a lemma is a proven statement a lemma a lemma is a proven statement which is used to prove other theorems so a lemma is a proven statement which is used to prove other theorems and now i am going to tell you about euclid's division lemma now
सपोज देर आर टू नंबर सेवेंटीन एंड सिक्स सेवेंटीन एंड सिक्स नाउ वी कैन राइट सेवेंटीन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स इंटू टू सिक्स इंटू टू इज ट्वेल्व प्लस फाइव यू सी दिस सेवेंटीन ओनली सिक्स इंटू टू ट्वेल्व प्लस फाइव ओके अनदर सेट ऑफ नंबर इज फाइव एंड ट्वेल्व so 5 is equal to now as 5 is greater than 12 so 5 is equal to 0 into 12 plus 5 you see 0 into 12 will be 0 only 0 plus 5 is 5 now the third third set 20 and 4 so it can be written as 20 is equal to 4 into 5 plus 0 Because four into five will be twenty, and twenty plus zero will be twenty only. Now the next set of numbers, ten and three. So it can ten is equal to three into three plus one. Another set of numbers, four and nineteen. So you see again as nineteen is greater than four, so four is equal to 0 into 19 plus 4. 4 is equal to 0 into 19 plus 4. And the next set of numbers is 81 and 3. So 81 is equal to 3 into 27 plus 0. So you can see any two numbers can be written in this form. means if there are two numbers a and b then a can be written as a is equal to b q plus r now see any number any uh, set of two numbers a and b can be written in this form a is equal to b q plus r where r will be greater than equal to 0 and it will be less than b R should be greater than equal to zero and less than B. Clear? A is equal to B Q plus R, where R is greater than equal to zero and less than B. Now here A and B are positive integers. Here a and b are positive integers, and always remember q and r are unique. Means for a given set of a and value a and b, for a given set of a and b, q and r will be unique. Means q and r will be will have only one value, q and r, and then if you See, actually, this Q is the quotient and R is the remainder when A is divided by B. I repeat, actually, this Q is the quotient and R is the remainder when A is divided by B. So, if A is divided by B, then Q is the quotient and R is the remainder. Okay, so this is Euclid's division lemma. Okay, now. the the statement of euclid's division lemma 
is in form of a theorem which calls given positive integers a and b For given positive integers a and b, there exists unique integers q and r such that A is equal to BQ plus R, where R is greater than or equal to 0 and less than B, where R is greater than or equal to 0 and less than B. That I have already explained here. That is the, this theorem is nothing but the Euclid's division lemma. Clear? Now, Now, Euclid's division algorithm. Now, actually this algorithm is a process and it uses the, uh, the Euclid's uh, division lemma and the, this process is used to find HCF of two numbers. HCF that is the highest common factor. Now, what is actually the Euclid's division algorithm? I am writing down the statement to obtain the HCF of two positive integers to obtain the HCF of two positive integers, say C and D, where C is greater than D. So, first step apply Euclid's. Division Lemma that is C is equal to DQ plus R that is C is equal to DQ plus R apply Euclid's division lemma between C and D that is C is equal to DQ plus R second, second step if r is equal to 0 then if r is equal to 0 then d is the hcf then d is the hcf third step if r is not equal to 0 then apply Euclid's division lemma for T and R. If R is not equal to 0, 
then apply euclid division lemma for d and r and repeat the step and repeat the step till you get the remainder zero till you get the remainder zero clear so actually this uh, this uh, euclid division algorithm for finding out hcf of two numbers is nothing but the long division method of finding out the hcf of two numbers okay so now we will do few examples on this uh, euclid division algorithm and euclid division lemma The question is use Euclid's algorithm to find HCF of four zero five two and one two five seven six. Use Euclid's algorithm to find HCF of four zero five two and one two five seven six. So first of all. i will show you how you can find the hcf using long division method that you have done in class 8 so uh, 1 2 5 7 6 you divide it by 4 0 5 2 three times Four twenty is the remainder. Now divide four zero five two with the remainder that is four twenty. Now it will be, I think, nine times. Now, using by this remainder two seventy two, you divide four twenty. It is only one time. One forty eight. Now you divide two seventy two by. 148 again it is one time so i'll write the remainder here it is 124 okay now divide one divide uh, you by this 124 you divide 148 One second is one time, and now with this twenty-four, that is the remainder, you divide one twenty-four. Now it, I think it is five times. Now four is the remainder, and by four divide twenty-four, and now you see it is six times, and no remainder will be left. So the four will be the HCF. The last time, the number by which we are dividing for the last time, when the remainder becomes zero, 
that is the uh, remainder that is the HCF so you can see the HCF will be 4 the HCF of uh, 4052 and 12576 is 4 this is the long division method okay now here if we do it using division uh, Euclid's division algorithm so what we do 1 2 5 7 6 can be written as 4052 into 3 plus when you divide 4052 and 3 multiply it find the product and that product when you subtract it from here you will have 420 so you write 420 here clear now the algorithm said that if the remainder is not zero then you have to apply uh, that, uh, that Euclid's division lemma for 4052 and 420 that means 4052 can be written as 420 into 9 plus 272 once again the remainder is not zero so you have to apply the Euclid's uh, division lemma for 420 and 272 that means 420 can be written as 272 into 1 plus 148 okay still the remainder is not zero so I we have to repeat the process now I have to apply that uh, Euclid's lemma for 272 and 148 so 272 is equal to 148 into 1 plus 124 still the remainder is not zero so again we have to apply uh, that Euclid's lemma for 148 and 124 so 148 is equal to 124 into 1 plus 24 still the remainder is not zero so we have to apply uh, uh, that Euclid's division lemma for 124 and 24 so 124 is equal to 24 into 5 plus 4 still the remainder is not zero so we will write 24 is equal to 4 into 6 plus 0 and now you see as the remainder becomes 0 so the, the HCF will be 4 that is HCF of the number 12576 and 4052 using Euclid's division algorithm clear now we will do one more example show that any positive odd integer is of the form is of the form 4q plus 1 or 4q plus 3 where q is some integer where q is some integer now let a 
is any positive integer let a is any positive integer so a which can be written as 4q plus r where r is equal to 0 1 2 and 3 r, r can have values 0 1 2 and 3 the value of r can be 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 I told you any number can be written in this form where q is the quotient and r is the remainder and as we are dividing by 4 we are dividing a by 4 so the remainder can be 0 1 2 and 3 that is why r is equal to 0 1 2 and 3 now put r is equal to 0 a is equal to 4 q put r is equal to 1 a is equal to 4 q plus 1 put r is equal to 2 a is equal to 4 q plus 2 put r is equal to 3 a is equal to 4 q plus 3 you know r can have values 0 1 2 3 4 so a can have values 4 q 4 q plus 1 4 q plus 2 and 4 q plus 3 but in the question it is written that it should be odd integer now 4 q as it is divisible by 2 so it cannot be odd so a cannot have a value equal to 4 q it is even and when 2 is added to any even number we get the next even number so this is also even so a cannot have value 4 q plus 2 also that means a can have values <coughs> 4q plus 1 and 4q plus 3 so you can see a can have values 4q plus 1 and 4q plus 3 ok Now we will do one more example. Question is Sweet seller has 420 Kaju Barfis and 130 Badam Barfis. He wants to stack them in such a way that each stack has the same number of sweets has the same number of sweets and they take up and they take up least area on the train. least area on the tree. So what is the number of sweets that can be placed in each stack? What is the number 
of sweets that can be placed in each step. Now see, as the area occupied on the tray has to be the least, so minimum number of stacks must be there. That means each stack must con contain maximum number of sweets. That means we have to find the HCF, that is the highest common factor of 420 and 130. And for that, we will use Euclid's division algorithm to find to find the HCF of 420 and 130. Now see, first of all, 420 can be written as 130 into 3, which is 390, plus 30. As the remainder is not 0, we have to repeat the process. That means 130 is equal to 30 into 4 plus 10. 30 into 4 will give you 120 plus 10, 130. Still the remainder is not 0, so we have to repeat the process again and 30 is equal to 10 into 3 plus 0. Now you see the remainder is 0, so the HCF is 10. HCF of 420 and 130 is 10. So, 10 sweets can be kept on each stack and that is your answer. Clear? Now, we will do one more example. Question is show that show that any positive odd integer any positive odd integer is of the form Is of the form 6 q plus 1 6 q plus 3 or 6 q plus 5 that is the question let a is any positive integer then a is equal to 6 q plus r where r is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 now see as A is any positive integer, so if you apply uh, Euclid's division lemma for A and 6, then you will write A is equal to 6Q plus R. That means Q is the quotient when A is divided by 6 and R is the remainder when A is divided by 6. So R is the remainder 
so it will can have values only 0 1 2 3 4 5 because when you are dividing a number by 6 then the remainder can be only up to 5 it cannot be 6 clear now put r is equal to 0 a is equal to 6 q put r is equal to 1 a is equal to 6 q plus 1 put r is equal to 2 a is equal to 6 q plus 2 put r is equal to 3 a is equal to 6 q plus 3 put r is equal to 4 a is equal to 6 q plus 4 put r is equal to 5 a is equal to 6 q plus 5 now you see as r can have values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the values of A can be 6Q, 6Q plus 1, 6Q plus 2, 6Q plus 3, 6Q plus 4, and 6Q plus 5. But it is given in the question that it should be a positive odd number. Now 6Q, as you know, 6Q is divisible by three, uh, 2. So 6Q is an even number. It cannot be an odd number. So A cannot have value 6Q. And when 2 is added to 6Q, again you get uh, an even number. So A cannot have a value equal to 6Q plus 2 also. Similarly, when you add six, 4 to 6Q, then also you get even number. So A cannot have a value 6Q plus 4 also. Now the, the, the value of A which is left are 6Q plus 1, 6Q plus 3, and 6q plus 5 6q plus 5 you see and that is what we have to prove 6q plus 1 6q plus 3 and 6q plus 5 okay so we will do one more question See, next question is show that show that square of any positive integer show that square of any positive integer is either is either of the form of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 for some integer M. So you have to show that square of any positive integer is of the form either 3m or 3m plus 1. Now see, let A is any positive integer then a is equal to 3q plus r here we have applied the euclid's division lemma a is equal to here in place of b we have taken 3 so a is equal to 3q plus r where q is the quotient when a is divided by 3 and r is the remainder when a is divided by 3 so r can have values 0, 1 and 2. Okay. Because when you are dividing any number by 3, so the remainder can be 0, 1 and 2. Now squaring both sides. A square is equal to 
थ्री क्यू प्लस आर होल स्क्वायर मीन्स ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू नाइन क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस आर स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स क्यू आर हियर वी हैव अप्लाइड द फॉर्मूला ऑफ ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर विच इज ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी ओके वी हैव अप्लाइड द फॉर्मूला फॉर ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर विच इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी ओके नाउ यू सी पुट आर इज इक्वल टू जीरो वेन यू पुट आर इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओवर इयर देन ए स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल टू नाइन क्यू स्क्वायर बिकॉज दिस इज जीरो दिस इज जीरो सो ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू नाइन क्यू स्क्वायर इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज थ्री इन टू थ्री क्यू स्क्वायर नाइन क्यू स्क्वायर कैन बी रिटर्न एज थ्री इंटू थ्री क्यू स्क्वायर एंड विच इज नथिंग बट थ्री एम वैर एम इज इक्वल टू थ्री क्यू स्क्वायर नाउ यू सी दे वर सेम दैट स्क्वायर ऑफ एनी पॉजिटिव इंटीजर इज ऑफ द फॉर्म थ्री एम यू कैन सी इट इज ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू थ्री एम वेर एम इज इक्वल टू थ्री क्यू स्क्वायर क्लियर नाउ पुट आर इज इक्वल टू वन पुट आर इज इक्वल टू वन सो ए स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल टू नाइन क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस वन प्लस सिक्स क्यू नॉ फ्रॉम दीज टू अगेन टेक थ्री कॉमन सो इट इज थ्री क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस टू क्यू प्लस वन एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट थ्री एम प्लस वन वेर एम इज इक्वल टू थ्री क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस टू क्यू सो यू कैन सी इफ इन प्लेस ऑफ थ्री क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस टू क्यू वी पुट एम सो ए स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री एम प्लस वन so according to our question either it is of the form 3m or it is in the form of 3m plus 1 so here it was in the form of 3m here it is in the form of 3m plus 1 now one more value of r is left that is 2 so we will put r is equal to 2 now clear put r is equal to 2 a square is equal to 9q square plus 4 plus 12q 9q square plus 12q plus 3 plus 1 4 can be written as 3 plus 1 so i have written in place of 4 i have written 3 plus 1 now from the first three terms you can take three common So within brackets we will have three q square plus four q plus one plus one. Once again you see if in place of this we put m, then again it is equal to three m plus one. So it will be equal to three m plus one, where m is after that where m is equal to three q square. Plus four q plus one. So you can see any positive integer. If you square, if you find the square of that, it will be either in the form of three m or three m plus one. That number will be in the form of three m or three m plus one that we have proved also. Clear? Okay. So uh, with this. i have explained uh, euclid's uh, division lemma and euclid's division algorithm we did few questions also you do all the sums given in your uh, textbook even the examples also and the sums given in your uh, assignment and in the next lecture we will continue with the other theorems and topics from real numbers